What's up everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. Got week 12 man, Quincy Blunt with the Atlanta Falcons going up against the Cleveland Browns. You already saw in the first part of that video, man. Daniel Taylor. He wildin' right now. He took that he took that L against the Falcons and now he out here going to strip clubs and junk. Cam recommended him. So you know, pray for Cam though. He did get in that car accident, but they do say he's gonna be alright. But Cam recommended Daniel Taylor go to that strip club right there. And he actually missed this week's game because of that. I don't know what's up with him. I don't know if he was down. He needed to, he needed to hype himself up. I don't know what he wanted to do, but he went there. He missed the game. I guess he's going to come back next week. But you can see, man, do not do no screens against the Falcons defense. Quincy Blunt sees the screens as soon as the play starts. I can see it. They do it to the other side this time, and it's locked up. We almost get the sack, but he throws. He just got the ball away. So, Falcons offense actually scored 10 points. We is stuffing the run. The defense has been kicking up for like the last couple, three games, I think. Like, last couple games I started playing, the defense has been kicking up. You can see I'm right here. I've tapped A a couple times. And I don't get an animation. Running back just falls over. He has five rushes with no yards. So, that's how you know we, we tough right now. D-line almost getting sacks. They forced a bad throw. And we end up getting an interception. Quincy Blunt trying to get a block. But, you know, it's type of hard to get the block on this weird camera. Like, the camera doesn't change. You just, you're supposed to just run in front of him, I guess. Because you will not see anybody coming. Quincy Blunt trying to bait the quarterback to throw that Kyle. I think that's Kyle Orr. He's trying to bait him to throw it to the flats. Just so he could try, probably knock somebody out this game. But he does throw it to the flats. And William Moore gets the big hit instead because, you know, Quincy's in the middle of the field. Don't what he's supposed to do. But now it's third and two. They do a run play. Quincy coming up the middle through the gap untouched. Taking Ben Tate down in the backfield, man. No yards. But on a next possession, we blitz. He finds a hole in the defense. Makes two people miss with the dive. And what do you know? He gets a 52-yard gain. That'll be his longest rush of the day, man. He does not get anything else after that. Kyle Orton, and then after that, man, Kyle Orton finds Josh Gordon for a touchdown. They scored in two or three plays on that draw, and I was like, whoa. Was that like a, is that the all Madden glimpse right there? But William Moore may have saved that wide receiver's life, man. Quincy was coming in hard. This time, Quincy, they do the uh, screen to the other side of the field. Can't get over there in time to stop it. From getting the first down. It's still 7-13, man. We still got the lead. Seconds before halftime is over. They do a play action. Quincy falls forward. Gets past the running back. And causes the bad throw with the pressure, man. Out here, though. Second and 10. Changes to third and inches. The time is running out. And I don't know why they didn't call a timeout. But they didn't. They end up passing the ball. And the time runs out. They had two timeouts left, I think. And... I guess the computer didn't feel like kicking the field goal. You know what I'm saying? So we go into halftime. Falcons is up 13. We haven't scored again after that, though. Third quarter, starting on defense, we get the sack with Croy Beerman. That man is a monster. He starts kicking up these last couple games. He gets a whole lot of sacks. He's playing the outside linebacker position. But on this play, though, almost was a completed pass because there was no pass rush. We had to cover for at least seven seconds. This like 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 how Tony Romo was. I forgot what game it was, but I think it was against the Giants. That's how much time Kyle Orton just had on that play. Almost got the completion, but it was incomplete. Coming up with another screen. I tried to fight off, and I run into a blocker, but it doesn't matter. They can't do it away from Quincy Blunt because the people on the other side is tough. They they can't do the screen anyway, and they get the pass over the middle on third and 19. We couldn't stop them, so they convert the first down. And they're going to hand it off this time. But look at this. Croy Beerman with the tackle in the backfield. He had three other guys there to help if Ben Tate would have broke that tackle. But you know he is not going to break a tackle from Croy Beerman. Another pass play, man. Everything looks covered up. He finds this receiver on another third down. It was third and 12, and they convert the third down. So 
you know, the, the defense is getting a little bit tired. So we do the Quincy Blunt, and they mess up by doing the draw. Quincy Blunt laying the wood on Ben Tate, man. He needs to get him out. He, he's, he's been good for one run, and that's because we messed up. You know what I'm saying? That is it, man. He got 52 yards. That was it. We stopping him for the rest of the game. Uh, we were stopping him before that as well. But third down again, we do the Quincy Blitz, force a quick throw, and we stop them before they get to the first down line. So it's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? They ended up kicking the field goal, and luckily the Atlanta Falcons offense scored. They do a run play, and Quincy's in the backfield dragging down Ben Tate. I told you he is not getting any rushing yards on the defense. Look at this. The coverage is too good. He didn't even throw the ball. He had eight seconds to throw and still got sacked. Doesn't make any sense to me, but that is Kyle Orton. You know what I'm saying? We over here blitzing again, but it was too risky. They actually blocked Quincy Blunt on the Quincy Blitz, and they throw a, like, 86-yard touchdown pass to get them only down by three now because after they kicked the uh, extra point, they're only down by three, man. 17 to 20. Croy Beerman beats his blocker and gets another sack on the play. Why Why is Croy Beerman so tough in this game? But then in, in, in real life, you know what I'm saying, the Falcons, they just get involved. Another screen to Quincy side, man, gets nothing. He got two yards on that one because we got held up a little bit. But fourth quarter, they're still down by three. Third and 12, another sack by Croy Beerman. Can you give this guy a new contract? <laughs> they get the ball back, man. Second and 10, another sack. This time by my man Stansley Maponga. You know, we out here, man. He's saluting the crowd, saluting everybody on the team. And we out here. We, they, they're trying to get, get something going, but it's not happening. Third down, we get another sack. Like four or something sacks in a row. That ends the game right there, man. The defensive line decided to kick up at the end of this game. They had mad plays with sacks. Everybody was getting sacks, especially Beerman. I don't know if y'all saw, but at the beginning of this scene, Quincy Blunt was shaking Matt Ryan's hand. So you, they must have had a deal going on that if they stopped him a couple of times, that Matt Ryan must have promised the whole defense pizza or something. I don't know. But you can see, man, this game, the Falcons has been kicking up. We're, like, in third place in the division right now. This is week 12 in this game. So hopefully we can get to the playoffs. And I got to figure out what's, what's happening with Daniel Taylor because he's out here missing games. While, while the Panthers is out here playing playing their hearts out, trying to keep the lead on top of the division. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what's going to happen with that, man. But this video is coming to an end. So, always remember, I'm going to show you all some stats right here. You know what I'm saying? You got to see Quincy Blunt's stats at the end of this game. He had a whole bunch of tackles for the loss. You know, I'm stopping a run. But always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.